Time for final thoughts. I am so sick and tired of the media parading this Gold Star Con family on every outlet from here to Timbuktu. Wake up, people. Do you see what's going on here? The DNC had a Hillary problem. You know, the problem that Hillary not only compromised national security with her emails, but also lied to the families of our Benghazi warriors. Not looking too good for Hillary on the military support front. So what did the tricky Democrats do? Well, they cherry-picked a Muslim military family to grandstand for Hillary and attack Trump. They had to. This was the theme of the DNC. Pick a pawn and pander. Up to bat, the Muslim pawns. There are 2.2 million active duty and reserve military members in the, in the United States military. Less than 6,000 identify themselves as Muslims. Well, the DNC found the Khan family, but they didn't have to look too far. Because turns out Mr. Khan has deep ties to both Saudi Arabia and Hillary. His former law firm has been on retainer representing the Saudis for years. Guess who else has deep ties to Saudi Arabia? 10 to $25 million worth. Oh, yes. Crooked Hillary and the Sham Foundation. Oh, and Khan's law firm also worked on Hillary Clinton's taxes. Isn't it wonderful when all this starts to make sense? So the stage is set. We've got a Hillary-backing, Trump-hating Muslim military family on the DNC stage. Khan goes after Trump for his proposed Muslim immigration halt. And then all of a sudden, the media spins it into Donald Trump dishonoring their son, the true hero of the story. How the hell did it jump there? Donald Trump saluted Captain Khan as a hero. Are you telling me it's a sin to vet and monitor those immigrating from terror-infested countries because Captain Khan, a Muslim, served in the military? Now the Khans are parading around the media circuit using their son's name and sacrifice as a vehicle to attack Trump and plead for the GOP to disavow him. Sad thing is, most of the spineless rhinos will do it. Maybe we should be asking the Democrats to disavow Sharia law, something Mr. Khan has written and defended in law journals, so there's that. But beyond that, is this con charade supposed to somehow make up for Hillary's complete and utter failure in regards to all things military? Because don't forget, she's had a, a few missteps. Like when she lied about coming under sniper fire in Bosnia. Lie. When she told us she didn't send classified material on her secret server. Lie. When she blamed the Benghazi terror attack on a YouTube video, then lied to the family, then called them liars. Hillary wouldn't know American patriotism, honor, or sacrifice if it bit her in the pantsuit. But I can't be upset with Hillary over this. She's a piece of work. Here's what I can call BS on. The media. Or should I call them the Hillary Clinton super PAC? I didn't hear a peep out of CNN, MSNBC, or Georgie's ABC when Pat Smith, mother of Sean Smith, who died in Benghazi on Hillary's watch, spoke at the RNC. We heard crickets from the same people that now claim to be so pro-military. Oh, when, when Hillary once again called Pat Smith a liar? As other members of families who lost loved ones have said, that's not what they heard. I don't hold any ill feeling for someone who in that moment may not fully recall everything that was or wasn't said. What? No one is saying she has a black soul? Just Trump? Let me remind you, the Khan family didn't lose their son at the hands of Donald Trump. But Ambassador Stevens, Tyrone Woods, Sean Smith, and Glenn Doherty did lose theirs on Hillary's watch. Where's the outrage? That's right, the Democrats are only outraged when the media tells them to be. And we know whose pantsuit the media crawls up on a daily basis. Are you looking for a black soul? Well, you're with her, aren't you? Those are my final thoughts. God bless, and until tomorrow night, take care.